My name is Dante Marini. I was probably about three years old when I first started playing soccer. Um, it's just something that's brought me so much and it's been a, such a big part of my life for such a long time. I was injured on July 15th, 2017 in St. Louis. I uh, just kind of planted wrong and kind of heard the crunch and pop and I knew something was wrong, but I didn't want to believe it. So my involvement with uh, Dante's injury is I was the first one on scene. So I was on the field with him right when it happened. It, it was tough. I think everybody kind of thought it was the end. It wasn't just an ACL. He had a very large uh, medial femoral condyle osteochondral defect uh, that changed this completely. They had to fix the bone as well as fixing his ACL, which then added the time frames to this. So his case was significantly on the rare side. And usually this type of injury, they don't get back to a professional level play. Your first thought is, am I gonna be able to play again? But once I realized the severity, it was, you know, 10 years down the line, am I gonna be able to kick a soccer ball with my kid? So that was a, a big fear, was am I going to get back to being me again? Because of the nature of my injury, the first three months of my rehab, I was unable to walk. I was on crutches for three months. The MUSC experience is, it's, it's, it, is a, it is a family in there, and it wasn't just Mike and Amy, who I can't say enough and, and thank enough for what they've done to get me back to where I am, but it was the OTs and the other PTs. They're all, you know, asking you, how's your day, and, you know, how are you doing, and, hey, you know, you're looking a little better, you know, you're, you're walking straighter, you know, you're looking stronger. Myself, Amy Maurer, one of our physical therapists, Bobby Weisenberger, our athletic trainer with Charleston Battery, all worked with him. Our sports med docs were involved, uh, but Dante did the work. We just kind of led him in that direction. I would say for anyone who's, you know, suffering through any kind of injury, um, trust in the people around you, in the medical staff, and trust in their guidance and what they're telling you is the truth. We weren't always sure if it was going to happen, but he wanted it. We all wanted it, and so he made it happen. It was 581 days in between um, professional games that I played. This February when I played in the Challenge Cup was the first time I really made it back and felt like I was myself again. I was nervous. You know, it, it had been such a long time between being on a field, field again. Once I got in and I got my first touch, I was able to just settle in and, and realize, you know, this, I've done this before. I, I've been here before. Relax, you can do it again. I mean, we were so happy. He's a guy we wanted to succeed, and, and he did it. When I finally scored, I think I was waving my hands around, had no idea what sort of celebration I wanted to do. I guess I never got that far in my dream. I just pictured myself scoring, but to actually score, 